say something, I'm giving up on you. Q&A today. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we broadcast live from Tokyo. The Owaga Pies Q&A. Pasha and Sabrina. Hot at the Owaga Pies. If you could have one thing from home to augment your lives in Asia, what would it be? A person, some restaurant, a special place? Keep up the great videos making us jealous in London. My mom and my sister. And there's this place in Sydney called Mary's, which has the most fucking amazing burgers. Cheese. Oh, Jeez. she's right. Boccaccini. I would kill for boccaccini. Yes. I would bring over a cow and make cheese, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I would cheese. not make cheese, but I would buy her cheese. Shakarama. Shakarama. <laughs> Why don't you show anything about what you do as a company? Is that forbidden because of your contracts? It's not that it's required of us. It hasn't really been spoken, but we're assuming that our clients would be much more comfortable if we didn't talk about what we're doing with them too much. What's your favorite box? Uh, this is like a black hole of favorites. Like mm -hmm. there's so many. Murakami is a favorite. Yes in so Norwegian wood. I mm. love. Picture of Dorian Gray, really good. Dracula, Bram Stoker, of course. Uh, there was a book I read once that I really enjoyed, A Prayer for Owen Meany. That one always comes to the top of my mind when I think of my favorite books. I like novels set in like countries with conflict. Yes. Those are, that's my yes. favorite genre, whatever you would call that genre. Yes, that's true. So, and that's anything true. about North Korea. Shemek dem chishak. What would you do if you won a lot of money in the lottery? Maybe some personal plans? Maybe I'd buy like maybe I'd buy like really nice apartments in all of the places where I'd want to live and then I'd like jet set to my apartments and probably fly my own ass back to Sydney so I can have Mary's burgers. That's actually very similar to what I would do. I would <laughs> I would invest in property. <laughs> We have similar parents. Yeah. <laughs> the smart thing to do. Yeah. The best yeah. way to have an easy life is to have property, kids. <laughs> Kasha, I heard that it's kind of hard to find the normal underwear for women in Japan. <laughs> have you ever had a problem with buying underwear or any other woman-ish stuff? Yes. Yes. What's yes. the problem with underwear for you? Um, the shape. The shape. The, the lack of style. The or, lack of, or the lack of over style. Over complication oh, of style. Oh, that, the fact it's all like, Super cute! I mean, yeah. I know nobody else is gonna see it, but yeah, I like black, plain things, so everything is too cute. And also, I think even though my boobs aren't huge, <laughs> it's hard for me to find a bra. Yeah, so with underwear, like, you are gonna find either your very typical granny panty that looks yes. terrible. They're up like, to here, kids. Yeah. Or, or it's the other extreme end. It's like lacy. Yes. Lingerie. Yes. Frilly I'm gonna bits. seduce Brad Pitt tonight. Kay? Yes. Dangly bits. Yeah. Ringing bits. I've heard. I've seen underwear that like you walk and it rings. Not and I'm like practical at all. I am not a baby calf. The solution is um, foreign stores usually. Um, yeah. Right now, American Eagle is like my favorite solution for that. I'm. I'm a Uniqlo kind of gal. Uniqlo doesn't work for me. Really? Yeah, because it just like cuts right through my butt. Oh no, I'm I'm a fan of the Uniqlo. So all really? of all of my all of my shit is from Uniqlo. I think we're a little curvier than most yeah. Japanese girls, which as well, makes it so. harder. Yeah. And with bras, the bras are like really padded and stiff. Yes. And your boobs kind of end up up yeah, here on like, your neck. You like you can eat. Your dinner. Yeah, your you could. You, you don't need plates you anymore could. If, you, if you use a Japanese bra. Yeah, most of them are padded. Also, like I think I tried to buy bikinis here for summer, and even a one piece, which I thought would be more uh, swimwear, more like sports swimwear, had like padding in it. I was, I was very uncomfortable mm. with it. So Krzyszek is not here, but Krzyszek, mm. what would you miss most if you had to move to Poland right now without any possibility of taking anything Japanese? Guess ramen would be the most missed thing. Huh? No, he would miss me and Kasha the most. Yeah. <laughs> so what would you miss if you had to go back to Australia right now? Probably, I think, the friends I've made here and actually really good, decent sushi that is not going to cost mm. me a million dollars. Yeah, I agree. Ramen for me as well and uh, lunch deals. Japanese lunch oh, deals oh, so good. Yes. You can have like an amazing oh, lunch set for like yes. less than ten dollars. Comes with like rice and fish yeah, and noodles drinks. and udon and drinks and then complimentary coffee sometimes and sweets. They always yeah. give you sweets. Yeah, so lunch yes. deals. I would miss And cheap beer. I would miss cheap beer. Because oh, I cheaper I, in the US. Yeah, well. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> I think I think knowing that basically all your food is gonna taste good. Is yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, like Definitely. you never get a bad meal here. Oh, also, Australia doesn't have trains that run on time, so mm. I would miss oh, sure. transport that was actually 100% to, well, like 98 to 100% on time. I would, yeah, I would miss not having to drive. I do not enjoy driving. I've heard that Adam Anson, same as the Jim Bang, Jim Jil Bang, Jim Rab in Korea. Jim 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 Bang. Mm. Jim Jim Bang. Jim Jim Bang. <laughs> you must be completely naked while taking a bath there. Is If it's true, wasn't it uncomfortable for you guys, at least for a few times, or maybe people raised in Western culture are too prudish after all? Yes. Uh, so I think this question is kind of related to a vlog when Chris and I went and my friend Emily went mm -hmm. to one of these onsens in Korea. Yes, you have to be naked, but you have to be naked in an onsen in Japan as well. So I think Western is a bit prudish because it's not a big deal there. Nobody looks at you. You just walk in, walk out. And men and women are separated there as well. So yeah, I think um, I was uncomfortable the first time. I have no problems being naked, so I'm all right. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like so much a problem. It's just like you know, you never, you never do it in Western culture. So it's like you're. I was really conscious of it. The well, first time. I grew up in Germany, and mm -hmm. when we were little kids and we had swimming lessons, uh, our teacher would not let us hide behind the towels because she tried to make the point that you're all girls, you all have the same bits. Yes, they look maybe slightly different, and your bodies look different, but this is a natural state of being. So I've never had any issues, and my mom's always been like, "You're little girls, like." Just, you'll be fine. And now as an adult, I'm like, I have boobs or whatever. For me, it did take getting used to, but it yeah. only took like one or two times. Great name. Silly question, but how you're keeping your glasses so clean? Any special products or ultrasound basins? Right by my apartment, there's a eyeglass shop where like every time I pass it, I clean my glasses. They clean it for you? No, no, they have one of those um, ultrasound basins where you stick them in and you press the button and it washes off and you clean it off. I have glasses, I don't know this. Yeah, 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 it's cool. It's like it's like the ultrasound like washes the I guess I didn't know it's ultrasound. If you're wrong then, then I'm I'm gonna I'm assuming you're right. You're wrong. <laughs> I, I never knew exactly what it was, but yeah, like shh, it's like the water moves and the dirt comes off and it's so cool. Um, I would like to ask Kasha if you tried wearing Yukata kimono. Do you have any? Is there a shop with those clothes worth going to? Yes, there are many shops worth going to. I don't know which one. I know so so so. Yeah. I also know that like the secondhand stores will sometimes have secondhand them really stores. Cheap. I think you can you can even get them at Don Quixote. Yeah, Don Quixote has them for like five thousand yen in the summer. They can be quite expensive though, guys. So yeah, the yukatas kimonos are much more expensive. Yes. But if you want a cheap one, I heard like Chicago, the second yeah. hand store has them for like less than a thousand yen. Yes, sometimes. and uh, Koenji, which is like Chris has talked about before, uh, is well known for uh, vintage hand. stores. Yeah. So they've got heaps. Yeah. I've got one from there. I don't have one. I've got one, I've never worn it. I've, I'm not comfortable yet. I've worn one, I don't have one. I've. I think I look funny. It looks good on like the Asian body type and on me I think I just look like so funny. Okay, I've heard that if you're not from Japan or even Asia itself, you are automatically seen as a more attractive person. This is kind of true. Yeah, Western beauty is very much admired. Yeah. And that's um, why a lot of Western men come here and get really hot Japanese wives. And you don't yeah. understand it. No, no. Some of the common comments are, wow, your eyes are so big too, you have a really small face, yeah. and oh, your nose is so straight. It's like, yeah. oh, wow. I've, had, I've had someone, I've had people say like, oh, your nose is big, I love it. And you're just like, oh, that's really weird. Yeah. I thought that comment was going somewhere completely different. <laughs> completely different. <laughs> so. Is it common to see packs of young men killing the floor? You might say break dancing in common areas like passages, <laughs> plazas, etc. Et yes, in Yoyogi Park. Yes. Yoyogi Park, but even here in Shibuya, um, oh. the where they play base, baseball, basketball, up the stairs, what's that area? Ah, uh, the park thing. Yes, that's true. The park. And also sometimes when some of the shops close and they've got, if it's like in an alleyway because mm. it's well lit and the floor's kind of slippery, there's heaps of guys doing yeah. things. They're actually pretty, like they're pretty good as well. And yeah. they can gather crowds. So it's cool. Same in Korea. Same, Same in, in Korea. Korea. There's Hyundai, like heaps. public. Yeah, there's a lot of practicing outside. Yeah. And I think the slight difference is in like in Korea, in Hongdae, where they do it is they're trying to get noticed by some of the bigger, you know, music production groups mm -hmm. so they can get picked up. I don't know if the guys do it here for the same reason. 
How many battery do you use in a day? Usually two. I've used three before. <laughs> Paulina Piahota, do you have any hidden talents? I'm super flexy. <laughs> I'm super flexible. I think that's one of my hidden talents. I can make a grown man cry with one stare. And I can also pop my wrist. Can you see that? <laughs> What's your favorite color? Black. <laughs> Get it? Get it guys? <laughs> I don't think I really have a favorite sport. Maybe like football? American football or soccer football? Soccer football. Um, I do love ballet. Yeah, and ballet should be considered a sport because it is if ballet. you can stand on your toes for three hours carrying your whole entire body weight, I'd like to freaking know. What's your favorite Australian food? Australia doesn't have real foods. What do you know about Poland? It's cold in winter. Y'all got good vodka. Chris and Kasia are kind of from there. All Thank right. you for watching. Please subscribe. Share. I don't know. Do you have link. a subscription thing that goes somewhere? Uh, it's gonna be at the end of the video. So, or maybe we could just yeah. Um, and make sure to leave questions for the next Q and A down below. Yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What Chris will be back tomorrow. Yeah.